Hey gang, it's Obey Platt, back with another Value Spirit video. Uh, today we're going to talk about a uh, category of spirits I really haven't touched on in this video series and I haven't really talked about a lot on this channel, and that is brandy. Uh, the particular brandy we have today is Corbell Brandy. Uh, it comes to us at, for $9.99. That's right, 10 bucks for a bottle. I challenge you to go to your local liquor store and find a 750 milliliter bottle of 80 proof spirit that's been actually aged. Uh, you'll find some, you still find vodkas under $10. You can probably find some rot gut rum under 10, uh, maybe a cheap Blanco tequila in a plastic bottle, but anything aged, you're really not gonna find at the $10 price point. So right there, we probably already have a little uh, value in this bottle. Uh, real quick, I wanna kind of recap the category of brandy and what uh, the term actually means. Uh, we tend to think of this as a grape spirit, which it is, but brandy can be distilled from any fruit. Uh, in Europe, they have Slivovitz, which I believe is from cherries or plums. They also have Pesh, which is a peach-based uh, brandy. Here in the U.S., uh, American brandy is quite popular. Uh, and then it's uh, sister concept, Applejack, which is a apple brandy produced by freeze distillation, or that's the way it was produced back in the day. Uh, and it can be aged or unaged uh, in South America, they have something called Pisco, which is an unaged grape brandy. Uh, there's also something called Grappa from Italy. It's an unaged brandy, but they, uh, besides pressing the grapes, they also have the seeds and the stems in there. It's usually the second pressing of the grapes. That's how it was originally produced. Kind of gives a little more bitter taste, but those are all brandies. If it comes from a fruit, fermented fruit, and then distilled, it's a brandy. Now again, what we generally think about of as brandy is a want is a grape based uh, spirit that's usually aged. Uh, thus, a wine is produced. Again, wine can come from any fruit too, but we tend to think of wine as a grape uh, based uh, drink. And if you distill wine, it becomes brandy. Um, now, the two probably most acclaimed styles of brandy are cognac and armagnac. Armagnac's not near as popular as cognac. Uh, they're both uh, produced in specific regions in France and both kind of have a specific method. The name is protected by international trade agreements, but it doesn't always translate into quality. That's, that's a perception I've talked about uh, in some other videos about cognacs that Again, just because it's from France and got a neat name and stuff doesn't always mean quality. Uh, actually, the grape that's used to produce cognac is called Uni Blanc. It uh, actually produces an acidic wine. That's why it probably got used for distillation and not making wine. Uh, here in Las Vegas, bartending in Las Vegas, I sold a ton of high-end cognacs, including the world-famous Louis XIII. Uh, I get a lot of questions like, was well, that good? Because we sell it for $500 a shot. So people ask me if it's that good. My standard joke is I make better stuff in my basement, and I'm not too far off on that one. Uh, that being said, if you ever get a chance to try it, give it a try, but you're probably going to say, $500 for that? Um, the reality is, again, it's, it's kind of the hype. It's not necessarily what goes in the bottle. There are some things that are called brandies that are, to me, superior and probably a fifth less of the price. So uh, kind of get that cognac uh, thing out of your mind or that it always translates into quality. Uh, you can have something called a brandy that's still a very uh, excellent spirit. Real quick, a little bit on Corbell itself. Corbell was founded in 1882 by three Czechoslovakian brothers. Their name was Corbell. They had immigrated to the U.S., kind of traveled around, tried different businesses. They eventually ended up in California and realized the, the uh, climate and the terroir was similar to some of the great wine growing regions in Europe, and they decided to get into the wine business. More specifically, the champagne business. Uh, the term champagnes, like cognac, by law, you could only use the term if it's produced in a certain region. Now, where Corbell and a couple other companies in California kind of get around that is they use the term California champagne, or they also will list method champenois, which is the method to produce champagne. That's kind of how they work around the labeling laws. But Corbell and a couple other companies in California produce something they refer to as a California champagne. 
Uh, when producing the champagne, they're basically, again, they're making a wine that gets carbonated. So they, Corbello also produces a still wine. And if you got some wine, throw it in the still. And now you got brandy. So they do all three. And if you think about it, they've been doing this now for about 140 years. They've probably gotten pretty good at the winemaking part of the process, which is the first half of the process anyway. So, again, we might can assume a little bit of quality in this bottle. Uh, unique, uh, or uh, real quick, what's in this particular bottle is aged roughly two years. Now, in brandies and cognacs, there is uh, some age labeling or terms they use. Uh, if a cognac or brandy has been aged two years, it's a VS four years VSOP, and if it's been aged six years, it's an XO. Now on this bottle, they do not use the term VS, so I'm going to presume that probably some of the brandies that got blended in here are probably a little younger than two years, and there's probably a little caramel coloring. You can see this is pretty dark for something that was aged two years, and most likely aged in something that was like a used bourbon barrel or something. Uh, again, Corbell probably has a ton of barrels for their wine production, but they're probably used. They're not probably using new oak uh, like the bourbon makers do, so these are probably used barrels. So the, a lot of color here for something maybe not aged that long. Uh, interesting fact when researching this that I found out that kind of boggles my mind, but now that you think about it, it kind of makes a little sense. 50% uh, of Corbell Brandy's U.S. sales is in one state. And that's Wisconsin. Apparently, Wisconsin, one of the popular drinks up there, is a brandy old-fashioned. And Corbell, I guess, is the brandy of choice up there. Uh, what some of you may not know is brandy gets substituted a lot of times in classic bourbon slash whiskey-based cocktails. Uh, a brandy old-fashioned, a brandy Manhattan are two uh, prime examples of that. There's several other cocktails that use brandy. Uh, of course, the Brandy Alexander and the Sidecar are both popular cocktails. And that's why something like uh, this is kind of uh, important to know about. If you're going the cocktail route with a brandy or if you're thinking about doing it with cognacs, save your money. Uh, I can't tell you how many uh, Hennessy VSOPs or Remy VSOPs or Cavassier XOs that I see get mixed in all kinds of things. Um, you know, different cocktails. Uh, I've made a ton of Hennessy margaritas. That is a thing now. Uh, and, of course, uh, Henny and Cokes, as the kids would say. Save your money. If you're going that route, get you a bottle of Corbell. Uh, it mixes just fine. Uh, again, if you're going to use a mixer, save your money because you're overpay for cognac that you're throwing into a cocktail. Real quick, a few uh, quick accolades for Corbell, uh, uprocks.com lists this as one of the best brandies under $30. Foodfornet.com lists this as one of the best cheap brandies on the market. And uh, gonetrending.com lists this as the best brandy at the $10 price point. Uh, there's just, again, a lot of stuff at the $10 price point. The fact, again, we still get a bottle of 80 proof aged spirit for $10 is, again, a real good value. So enough about Corbell. Let's give her a try. Little hot on the nose, but nothing too unbearable. Uh, again, color-wise, I'm wanting to assume there's a little caramel there, so we don't want to assume too much from the, the uh, color. Let's give her a try. That's nice. It's smooth. It's fairly clean. Um, do we get a little? Do get a little of that caramel? Um, do pick up, I guess, some vanilla from the wood or whatever. But a pretty clean spirit. A little bit of sweetness uh, comes through. But, again, that's not so much from the grapes as it is from the barrel. And, again, maybe some caramel coloring. But, overall, nice, clean spirit. I don't know how often somebody's going to sit there with a snifter full after a nice steak dinner at a fancy restaurant and, and savor a, you know, a glass of Corbell brandy. But if I was going to... You know, throw this mixture, a Brandy Alexander. Again, $10. You can't, you just really can't beat that. And 
again, this is part of the reason behind this video series is I want people to kind of think out their purchases. Uh, when you go out there, you can, you can find good value out there for your drinking dollar. Uh, actually, when I was in college, I used to drink uh, Brandy, probably drink some Corbell, or I was probably more of a E and J or Christian Brothers. Uh, there was a liquor store at the time that sold, just for whatever reason, Brandy was cheap. And again, I was a typical college kid just drinking with cola. I could drink, I could find a bottle like this cheaper than I could a bottle of a similarly categorized bourbon, uh, Jim Beam or something like that. When you mix it with Coke, it, it's fairly similar product, and I just always found a great value uh, with the brandies in that sense. If I was just, you know, if I'm going to drink something with a mixer, again, why, why spend uh, too much? Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. Also, please like the video because it lets YouTube know we're putting out good content. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comment section, or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Till next time, bottoms up.